Hello friends, I'm Paras from Glamming Videos and you are watching Learn VBA Without Coding Skills. So in today's video, I am going to cover these command selections, offset, resize and range, selection, comma, selection. Means we'll, in today's video, we will work with selections. So how can we move selected cells from one range to another range or we can resize the selection. If you want to add one column to our existing selection, then how can we do that? Or if you want to increase the raw number in our selection, then how we can do that? So I got some feedbacks to create a video on offset, resize and range selection. So I'm very happy that I'm getting such kind of feedbacks from my subscribers. So let's get started. So in one of my previous videos, I covered these things, selection and offset. So now I'm going to cover this resize and selection and we'll do some more things with selection and offset. So I've already created a module. So we, if we have selected some cells, like we have selected from C2 to C7 and we want this selection to move to right side, then how we can do that? Like C2 has been selected and we want to move this to right side. So we'll use range or we can say selection dot offset. So first we'll input any number for row. So we don't want to move this cell to downside then so row number will be 0 and we want this cell to be moved to right side. Then we will put 1 here and then select. So this is for one cell only. So if, if I run this code, it will select range D2. So the same thing will happen to this selection as well. So selection.offset.select. Now I will run this code and the whole selection will be moved to from column C to column D like this. And if I run this again, then it will move to E. So like this. Or if I increase the row number and I'll change column from 1 to 0. Now, if I run this code, then it will move to downside. Because the row number is getting increased. So like this. Now, if you want to resize this selection, now we have selected one column and and three, four, five, six rows. So if I want to resize this selection, then selection dot resize bracket. If you want to select two rows and three columns, then we'll put two comma three bracket close and then select. So it will start from cell E7. It will select two rows and three columns starting from E7. So let's run this line. So see guys, two rows and three columns has been selected. Now we can move this selection as well using this command. So if you want to move this selected this selection to downside, then we can change the row number as well. Now it will move from E7 to E10. Let's run it. So it has been moved to E10. So this is how it works. Selection dot resize. We can resize our existing selection as well. So if I have selected range C6 and I want to select from E2 to G8, then how we can do it? So select. So let's remove this. So C6 has been selected. Now we want to move this to E7. So range or we can use selection. Selection dot offset. So first we will move our existing selection to E7. So to move that we will change one row and three columns and then we will resize it and we want to select two rows and three columns then select 
so let's run it and see if it is working or not so it has been moved to from c6 to f7 because we have entered three here and then it has been resized so for c6 was selected then it has been moved to f7 then it selected two rows and three columns like from e7 to h8 so this is how it works so let's come to the fourth option in selection dot selection so if we have these cells selected and we want to add some more selection to it then how we will do it range cell 1 like this selection and cell 2 will be selection dot offset we don't want to increase the rows so 0 and we want to increase the columns dot 1 like a close dot select so let's see if it is working or not so see guys selection has been changed and we can increase the rows as well so now it will select from c3 to e9 because we have changed the rows and we have changed the row and column as well so see this is how it works so these commands are going to be very helpful for you guys so that you can use in your next project and with these commands we can do our work very quickly without wasting our time so thank you so much guys for watching this video if you like this video then please subscribe like and comment and thank you for watching we we'll meet in next video thank you so much bye bye